please join me in welcoming Mr. Justin Bayless to the stage. Good evening. It's a beautiful room. Um, you know, Alex, thank you for getting me involved in the organization. <clears throat> My table was asking me, how did we meet? And I said, you know, growing up here as a Phoenician, we didn't see things like this. And when I heard Dr. Porter had an organization that was focusing on bringing medical students, residents, uh, opportunities to change our communities, I said, spell houses in the building, one. And two, um, you know, we just never had anything like this as Phoenicians. So it was very important for me and my family to get involved. And uh, I'm just really, really uh, blessed and happy to be here tonight. So uh, first and foremost, my name is Justin Bayless. Um, you know, last year I was unable to be here, uh, but I was here virtually. And I'm very proud to return this year to make a special presentation. Um, I shared last year that my family has partnered with Elevate Med um, to provide what we call the Bayless Commitment to Mental Health Scholarship. Um, and it's awarded to Elevate Med scholars who present a desire to pursue a medical career that will impact mental health in communities of color. Last year, we presented the award to Dr. Shanice Walcott, and we are proud of her success thus far. It is really important to my family that we continue to find ways to impact mental health in black communities. For those of you who are not hip hop heads, that was Jay-Z and his song about mental health. Um, I think it's appropriate for tonight uh, because it's twofold, right? It's getting uh, awareness to the mental health issues that are in our community, but it's also talking about celebrating and smiling, you know, as we go through trials and tribulations. This partnership with Elevate Med is one way that we can ensure that patients begin to see themselves in their practitioners. In reviewing the stories of current Elevate Med scholars, I learned that this group is determined to be that change. Two specific stories stood out to me, and I'm proud to announce that tonight we will present two students with a $21,250 scholarship. It was actually very difficult for us to make this selection. <laughs> yes. You know, first and foremost, men who desire to make changes in their communities are vital. We're starting to see less and less male physicians in our community, specifically uh, physicians that are black men. There's only 2% of all physicians that are black men. It is important that we recognize Mr. Neville Duncan of Nova oh. Southeastern to please come up and accept his award. <laughs> Lastly, um, certainly not leastly, we were extremely imp impacted by the story of Ms. Leonita Rafford of the University of Washington School of Medicine. She is Filipino and black woman and is truly standing up to the charge of helping communities of color. She's unable to attend tonight, but we are very proud of her. Um, and I definitely look forward to meeting her in the future. Thank you all for your time. Please continue to find ways to support this organization and its mission. Every contribution counts. Um, again, thank you, Alex, Greg, for having us. Thank you.